Wow! So Born Again Chorich comes out of left field to win Cincinnati, hitting one of the most gangster celebrations I've seen and shocking the tennis world by beating five of the top 15 seeds in that tournament as the 152nd ranked player to win Cincinnati. So I'm gonna talk about what impressed me the most out of this run for him, and it's not what a lot of people have been talking about. So here's a slice presented by Points Bet Canada. Let's get into it. Hey guys, this is Casper Ruth. Hey, it's Dennis Shapovalov. And welcome to The Slice. All right, so yeah, we're all in a little bit of shock, but maybe the shock has turned into just awe after watching, you know, the semifinals or the quarterfinals, semifinals, finals of Borna Chorich just coming out and playing maybe the best tennis, the highest level he's ever played uh, to win Cincinnati. Huge, huge result for him. Obviously, biggest title of his career, um, but just an interest, super interesting story because where he's come from, the injuries he's had to overcome, and just what he did this week. So absolutely unbelievable. Follow at the Slice Tennis if you haven't already. And the Slice is presented by Points Bet Canada. So if you were in Ontario betting on Borna Chorich before the tournament to win, you would have got an insane return if you were using Point Bet Canada. So that's amazing. Thanks for Points Bet for presenting the US Open swing coverage from the Slice. And we got the US Open coming up at the end of this week. But the Slice on Borna Chorich this week is that you know, he's gone crazy. He's done something that is one of the most impressive people are talking about. Is it the most impressive win ever uh, in a Masters 1000? You know, I would say it's definitely right up there. There's a couple others that come to mind. I think David Nalbandian beat Federer Djokovic Nadal in one tournament. Um, so that's obviously up there. But yeah, he beat five top 15 seats. I think four top 10 players, basically. Nori t is now a top 10. He wasn't at the time of playing, but basically top 10 level. Beat Musetti in the first round, then Nadal, then Bautista Agut, then Felix auger same Canadian, in the quarterfinals, Cam Nori in the semifinals, 6-3, 6-4, just like whatever things are coming out, and Stefano Tsitsipas in the final. Uh, the final was a very interesting match. I watched the first bit of it. I wasn't able to watch too much of this whole, his all of his matches because they happened in the middle of the night because I'm still stuck in Europe, but... The tournament just went like he was. He honestly won this tournament in pretty dominant fashion, only dropping one set, and that was the Rafa Nadal. Um, just absolutely playing great, huge first serve, kind of an improved service. And you know they talked about during the tournament, uh, he didn't change his service motion with his shoulder surgery that he was coming back from, which can obviously be a super difficult thing to come back from. So Borna Torres just stuns everyone. If you're not stunned by his win this week, you're a lion. Don't don't be capping with us here on the slice. Nobody saw this coming. And for reasons that some people are getting confused and they're kind of maybe exposing that they haven't followed tennis for that long, but the, you know, because he came in and he was ranked 152 coming in, he was the lowest ranked player to ever win a Masters 1000. Um, he had no great results since coming back from injury in March, other than obviously winning the challenger, I think in Italy, um, which is a good result. But for a guy like Borna Chorch, that's like, oh, that's like what you got to do to get back. But he lost first round and also in other challengers. He lost first round in, in Montreal. He comes out and wins Cincinnati. So people are saying, one of the things they're saying is the most impressive thing is that a guy ranked 152 could win a Masters. And that's showing the depth of the ATP Tour, um, showing how strong the, the field is. And that's not what I see from this at all. Um, no other guy who's ranked 120, 130, one, you know, outside even the top 30, I could imagine winning a Masters 1000 right now. But that's what's so incredible about what Borna Chorch has done. Because Borna Chorch used to be, was the top 15 player in his highest rank. He made the finals of Shanghai 2018, losing to Djokovic. In 20, back in 2014, he was the ATP star of tomorrow. So like he's been a highly touted prospect for a long time. And he's been one of the top players in the world for a decent few years now. So it's not like he came name-wise, level-wise, like just from the Challenger Tour to randomly win a Masters 1000. He, the most impressive thing for me that he's done is come back so quickly from an injury like he has to find his top level or even above his top level to win a Masters 1000, beating like the top guys in the world to do it. We've seen with Andy Murray, taking so long now to slowly kind of work his way back up the rankings to try and get back to where he was. Mind you, he is a lot older, but even a guy like Dominic Team, maybe his injury is a little bit more sensitive with the wrist and the shoulder. They're still pretty similar. You've seen him struggle slowly to get back into form 
Um, and he you know, definitely hasn't come out and won a Masters 1000. So to me, the most impressive thing is Chorich being able to go from seemingly zero to 100 all of a sudden and just find this level. I'm sure he's shocked himself a bit finding the level he's been at. And you know, with the cross arm celebration, you just gotta think, man, this guy can't believe the run he's on. But also he knows that this is what he's capable of and it's gotta feel so good for him to be able to show it and show it this quickly after being out for so long. Torch announced last May in 2021 that he got sh sh shoulder surgery and he came back in March, like I said. So we've seen a ton of other players, Bianca Andreescu, Dominic Team, Andy Murray, others um, come back from injuries like that and none of them have had this much success this quickly. So to me, that's the most impressive thing about Borna Torch's week this week. What do you guys think it is? But for me, that's it. And I'm excited to see now what he's going to do with the US Open. The US Open rankings are going to be crazy. We're going to break those down in the next couple of days here on The Slice. So keep it locked on the channel. Leave your thoughts down below. And that's The Slice on Born and Chorch. Coming out of nowhere to be born again, Chorch, winning the Cincinnati Masters. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks. Chorich is the champion in Cincinnati.